The movie undoubtedly features the abuse of children. In one explicit scene that takes place in the virtual world, the character Asuna is raped by her captor, Sugu, who threatens to also rape her in the real world, where she is lying in a hospital room in a catonic state. He also states he'll make a recording of the virtual rape to shame her as well. And the rape, incredibly, is referred to as a fun party. Asuna is chained and her clothes are ripped from her while Kiritu is forced to witness the rape. Asuna is described as a 17-year-old girl. In another scene, high school girls are at a swimming pool where one of the girls indecently assaults another character by repeatedly squeezing her breasts and bullies her because of her physicality. How's it going and welcome back to another episode of, uh, another bonus episode of Geek Era Podcast. Currently at the moment, uh, a British uh, member of parliament is trying to ban anime. Uh, examples including Aramanga Sensei, Goblin Slayer, No Game No Life, and Sword Art Online. Uh, he is that very strange mixture between cringy conservative and ultra left liberal. And it just seems to be completely irrelevant to, to the point. It just seems to be to the point, well, why did I put those two clips before? Both of them are currently this year. Whether it's you're conservative or liberal, you're going to be dealing with these people that want to try to censor uh, what people want to watch. More than likely, people are uh, speculating that it, probably one of his children or his grandchildren uh, got into anime and he just wants to ban it. Now... He has some awesome crazy ideas about getting rid of vapes that contain nicotine, uh, as well as a lot of different sort of strange things. His his uh, main person that he was backing in the 2016 uh, Australian election is no longer involved in politics, so therefore he's just a rogue politician. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, what does Australians think? Because at the end of the day, this is what is essentially is going to be happening here. Whether you, do you agree that, you know, anime should be uh, eliminated from Australia or do you believe that, um, you know, people are going to watch it regardless of what you're, you're trying to ban it. And the fact that this is probably the best advertising that anime is going to get because in a day and age where people either want to censor something or change it, uh, and then a government, you know, government official while, you know, the world is you know, your country is currently on fire with the, and you're also dealing with an outbreak of the coronavirus hitting the world at this point. Do you really want a politician like that in parliament? Is he someone that you want to represent in a time where people, you know, you, you know, you're worried about your job, you're worried about the economy, you're worried about your health with these scares and you worry if your house is going to be still there when you get back from work. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, stay tuned because we're going to be doing, uh, our next video is going to be talking about the history, the dark side of Funimation. Okay, this is Sean Alvis signing off.